Hi there, my name is Mike, and in this short video, I'm going to explain how to import your own font uh, to an HTML CSS website. Uh, so to start, I've got this uh, HTML document. Uh, it's got a main div, that's a class main, and uh, it just says this is my font. Uh, right now, it's not my font, this is like the default font, uh, but it will be my font. Uh, I also have this style.css file attached to this HTML file. And then also in this main directory, I've got a font of uh, type .ttf in here. Uh, you can also use an OTF font or a WOFF font. Uh, there are a few other font styles you can use. I'll put a link in the description. Not all browsers support the other fonts other than those three, but um, uh, TTF is what I'll be using for this video. Uh, so yeah, to start uh, in my CSS file, or you could do this in the top of your HTML document, uh, you first need to define your font. And the way you do that is you use this at font face. And then in here, uh, you're going to define font family. Uh, this is typically the tag that you use to say what font you want to use for uh, CSS, but in this case, you're actually just naming your font. Uh, so we can name this test123 or something. Uh, and then down here, you need to give the source. So this is the sort of format for importing a font. You say the name that you're going to want to access to it, uh, access it with, and then you give it the URL of where this font is. Uh, so this font is in my source directory, so I just do URL, uh, and then I can just put in the font name. If this were in a folder, like if this were in a fonts folder, I would do something like that, uh, but it's not. It's just in the uh, main directory, so I'll do it just like this. Uh, and then you can see that that did nothing because I need to uh, say where I want to use the font. So we'll just do that in dot main and we'll say font family. And then we use the same test one, two, three, just like this. And you can see there it is. There's my font. Um, I'm not quite sure what this font is called. I'll put a link to it in the description. I just took it off Google fonts. Uh, but yeah, so I just uh, used this font from my local directory and now it is in my document. Uh, I can make it bigger, uh, just like that change the color, I can do all kinds of things. Uh, so yeah, if you found this video helpful, please do leave a uh, like or a comment down below uh, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.